Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Welcome to yet another video. So back in the day, I installed some cameras on the house. One out the porch so I can see any activity coming up to my door, and one out back window so I can see activity in the backyard when animals make their way back there. However, I had an incident the other night where somebody came on my property in my driveway and was fiddling with the Trans Am, and I didn't get a good look at their face, which kind of bugs me because the camera that I had wasn't reaching down the driveway that far. Uh, I never really did, to be honest, because it wasn't configured that way. A long time ago, when I ordered those wise cameras, that's what I'm using is wise cams. I ordered four of them because they were on sale. Regular, they're $99 for two, but they're on sale on Amazon for like 35 bucks a pop, 70 bucks for two. So I bought four of them and we're gonna be installing one today on the garage because apparently these are indoor outdoor cameras. And I looked online, found some Reddit posts where people in Canada have installed these, ran them all year round with no problem whatsoever. So so apparently they can take the heat and they can take the snow. But there's one problem with these cameras. And this is what I've been waiting for is the power cable they give you is USB-A to micro USB, but it's only a six foot cable. It also comes with mounting hardware, a metal plate, because the bottom, I already took the camera out and configured it. The bottom of the uh, mount is magnetic. So theoretically, if you wanted to mount this in your house, you can just take this plate, screw it to a wall, and then the camera will, will sit firmly on that and, and you're basically good. And I was thinking that's how I want to mount this outside. But then I got to thinking, I'm like, you know, they say it's waterproof and it's weatherproof. My problem with these cameras is on the back, there's a speaker because you can talk over the camera as well as the mic listen in. So like if I have one of these outside at my door, I could totally pull a ring session and I could have a full conversation with the person at my door without ever actually opening the door. But then I was like, you know, they make little housings for these things and you can get them on Amazon. We got the old Ender back there, right? The old 3D printer. And I thought, why not? just 3d print a shelter for it and we did so basically the camera just slides into it like so and now we got a little protective roof over its head keep the elements out of the speaker because i won't be using it to talk i won't be using the built-in alarm system because you can actually have a setup where if it detects motion it chirps and lets the assailant know that they're trespassing all i'm going to use it for is surveying and if somebody comes on the property their 1080p cameras you can get a pretty good pinch zoom on it and you can get some pretty good detail out of it and that way there i can get an idea of what the person's face looks like so when i do submit it to the cops i got some hard evidence to give them however it still doesn't solve the power problem See, because they use USB-A, they also come with this little like cell phone charger style thing, which is your standard AC plug to a USB input. And I believe this is one amp. Yes, it's one amp. So I went on Amazon. My initial plan was I was going to take an extension cord, plug it into the AC outlet, run it up in the garage overhead, tack it in, plug this guy into one end, run the USB cable outside, plug it in. But then on Amazon, I found they actually carry some other things. So I bought two things from Amazon for this project. One's in here, one's in here. The one in here, oh, that's cool. I didn't know it was coming with this. Okay, so in here we have 30 foot USB cable. And what I didn't know it was coming coming with was cable management so you can tack it to your wall and route it that's pretty cool so I got two of those cables because it came in a two pack and I believe that was like $20 which still would have been cheaper just to buy the extension cord and, and route it right but nah the other option which also came with mounting hardware dope I'm not sure what's going on here because it's got marrettes oh it came with an angled connector for the camera that's cool why did it come with Let's get this thing out. The other one is an all-in-one unit. This is the one I'm probably going to be using. Ah, oh, that's why it has mounting hardware. So you can mount the box to the wall. That makes sense. This end plugs into the AC. Transformer converts it into the USB micro so that we can attach it to the camera. Let me just make sure this thing actually works before we go out there, route it, and find out it's completely potato. And I believe this here was also $20. Now the reason why I ended up saying screw it and getting the USB cables is because I do want to route some more cameras, uh, mainly because unlike the competitor, uh, the Amazon camera, what the heck are they called? Can't remember their name. Basically Wise is from the same company, but it's like the brother who made the, the Blink, that's what it is, the Blink cameras. Originally the creator of Wise worked with Blink. 
okay? They created uh, this camera here because Blink refused to go multi. They only wanted to support Amazon's Alexa. And the brother was like, no, if we targeted all smart speakers, like Apple, Amazon, and Google, then we could, you know, have a great product that's good on the market. But the other brother said, no, we're gonna go strictly Amazon and Amazon's gonna endorse us. So the other brother split off and started Y, which was a wise choice if you ask me. I wonder if that's why he called it that. I'm gonna plug this thing into the power bar down here, make sure it works. All right, it's not getting hot, didn't make any sparks. That's a good sign. And before I even unravel the cable, I'm just gonna plug it into the camera and make sure it fires up. You got a red light, that's a good sign. That means we're hot. Now I, ca I configured this one yesterday. I showed it on the uh, fishing video that I had it configured. I mentioned it was picking up movement. It wasn't picking up movement. When you first initialize these wise cams, all detections are turned on. So it detects audio cues and video cues. So because I have the fans running that you can hear in here, try and keep the temperatures down, it was picking up that fan noise and thinking somebody was in the room. There was nobody in the room, just me. And I wasn't even in the room. I was out fishing. I should say I was out breaking rods. So we got some mounting hardware here, so that's pretty cool. I'm still not sure why they gave Marettes, but they did. We're not gonna need them, but they did. Right on. So I'm gonna grab all this, stuff it back in the box. This is gonna come outside with us. I'm gonna have to do something I hate doing, and that's climbing a ladder, because this is getting mounted right on the face of the garage, aiming down the driveway. Now, that's what's cool about these two is, you can extend these legs out and aim them. Now, blink cameras require you to have a subscription in order to use the service to capture the video. This is where Wise comes in clutch. Wise cameras have something that Blink cameras don't have. And if I can actually open up the port, I can show you. Wise cameras have a micro SD card slot. So you can put a 32 gigabyte card in there. And if you don't have the cloud service, if you're not paying the $2 a month for the cloud service on the camera, it'll store the information to the SD card for later reviewing. Pretty good if you want to be cheap, if you don't want to pay for the subscription. I don't know what Blink charges for their subscription. And the cloud service is nice because if somebody were to come along and break this camera, unfortunately, your video footage would be gone if you lost the SD card because it's not storing it anywhere but on the SD card. Cloud, it's stored in the cloud. So even if the cameras break, your events are still available to be reviewed. Kind of a bonus, right? But we're gonna go and mount this on the garage and that way there we can uh, see what we see. I am gonna pay for the actual online service. I'm already paying for it with the other two cameras. Uh, I'm gonna transfer one of the services over to this one here. And that way there, if somebody does come along and smash this thinking they're being all awesome, I'll have a really good shot of their face. But let's get outside, mount this camera, and go from there. I'm hoping to do a no drill method. We'll see if it works. Alrighty, so this is what I'm thinking to route the power. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm thinking about having the box somewhere over here, or maybe over here in the corner, somewhere over somewhere on the wall anyway route the line up over maybe go underneath the door if there's room it gets pretty tight though eh? I don't know we can try it otherwise I have to rip a hole right through the freaking wall and then come up and then install the camera somewhere around here like if there if you have like metal surfaces what's nice about the camera is you can literally just stick it to the surface right because it's magnetic on the bottom like you know it just kind of sticks to metal it's just boom mounted Done. But when you don't have metal to stick it to, it kind of makes it a pain in the ass. I could just prop that open, stick it in there, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to open this bay door. I'm going to need my ladder too, because I'm going to have to climb to attach it. I am tall, but not that tall. So I could come along here, pass it through this brace, come to the center here, maybe notch this out a bit just to run the line underneath and over. Because otherwise I'm ripping through the wall and through my siding and I kind of don't want to do that. And then I can use one of those wire mounts to, to attach it. That could that could work, you know, while I got the bay door open. I'm going to grab my garbage can. It's Thursday. Thursday's garbage day. So it's supposed to be martial arts today, but coach canceled due to a something going on didn't get into specifics just said emergency so i don't pry into other people's business and i prefer the same treatment so he was gonna get uh the brown belt to teach but uh, i was like now you know what i'll stay home and make a video I, I was gonna make this video yesterday but amazon didn't fulfill their end of the bargain of, of the prime shipping agreement so yeah instead we went and broke a brigand zebco Hopefully you guys watched that video. Lot, lots happened on that video, on that fishing video. Even though I started the video off and said, it's a fishing video, you can turn off if you want. 
I hope you didn't because there was a lot of things that happened on that video. Anyway, I'm gonna get up there and grab my ladder. All right, guys, get this ladder set up. The way this hole is cut in the door and how uneven it is really reminds me of how my windows are up there. <laughs> oh, did that siding back out again? Crying out loud, we fixed that and it fumbled. Grab my two-way tape and just friggin' fix it once and for all. All right, so I need to get an idea as to where the hell I want to put this thing. I really don't want to hold you guys and climb a ladder, so I'm just going to sit you on the boat, aim it, and you guys can stare at my ass. I showed you guys that you get this metal ring. What you also get is 3M tape. So one side adheres to the ring. Try and put it on there as evenly as possible. I did not. Look at that overhang. Dope. And the other side adheres to the surface that you're mounting it to. And you still have a hole where you can jam a screw in it for that extra level of security. Now you can also do like I did. And there is a screw hole in the base here where you can attach a screw, slide it on and hook it on. And that's how I have them mounted in the house. But I got that thing up there. So literally, and we're in there like swimwear. Now all we got to do is route the wiring. Oh. And wire it up. That's all she wrote. Pretty easy installation. Hopefully it catches the whole driveway. I might even catch some of my neighbor's driveway. Give them a level of security too. All right, so now I gotta run this wiring. So that's where the fun part begins. So in this box I've shown you guys already, this is the one. I grabbed the wrong freaking box. I'll be right back. All right, I got the right one. So this thing here, you know, I cleaned off this bench and it's already full of junk. See, originally I was looking for something that I can tap directly into AC because I was going to, uh, originally I was thinking like, you know, we'll just use something directly attached to AC and then just tap it into a light source or something's power coming into it. Oh, thank God this thing has a magnetic base. Totally caught the screw. Yeah. Go Ryobi, you innovators. Yeah, I saw a funny meme on Facebook about power tools. And it's like the moment you become a dad, you join one of these tool teams like a like a Harry Potter joins a school. And it was like Ryobi, Makita. That's the blue one, Makita. I guess these things work better when you actually put a battery on them, eh? Like normally, probably. There we go. That was the fun part, running the wiring. Let me get as much shit out of the way here. You know what? I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I'm going to get the head mount. There, now I got you guys attached to my noggin. So now you can see what I see, no more shitty camera angles. One thing I don't like about this head mount is it's not the official GoPro one and it does leave a mark on your forehead. Like I'm going to have this like rippled chip thing going on on my forehead for a little bit once I take it off, but whatever. All right, so I should have enough. I'm going to go up the ladder and attach it to the camera just to get an idea as to where I want to sit it. We'll, we'll start attaching it backwards. Oh, oh, I don't like ladders. I really don't like ladders and we're hot. Now, theoretically, if that links up to Wi-Fi, I might wonder if I can lower this. Where's the best mounting point for it? Probably right there. Yeah. All right. Theoretically, right now the camera's hot. If I bust out my phone, go into the Wise app, let it boot up, go into driveway. It should be connecting. Holy crap, I just updated that thing. It can see the Trans Am. It can see the boat. And it can see the tarp shed but it can't see enough. That's as back, far back as I can tilt it, eh? Oh no, I can do that. Oh, that is way better. I can see clear across the road now. Here, check it. Yeah, that is way better. Yeah, I can see everything. Everything coming in the driveway now. That's cool. Okay, sweet. Of course, it's gonna pick up trucks from that driving by and report them as events, but not a big deal. See, basically, if you go under events, see, <laughs> it just picked up motion here and that was me. And then this camera here is picking me up out here. So it's, re it's recording the events and storing them in the system. I'm just gonna move this ladder over a bit because this wire here is going to come right here and I'm gonna tack it in right there. I don't really like this setup, but probably will end up finding a better way to attach that camera than using just the magnet. I might just double-sided tape it up there or screw it up there, one of the two. Okay, so these things just barely fit the USB cable. Cool. 
that'll attach there. And then I'm thinking come in here and attach another one right there and then kick her sideways. I've honestly been wanting to put a camera up here for a while and all it took was some asshole coming into my driveway and frigging around with my car. I don't know what the hell's going on in this city guys, but definitely nothing good. Oh, did you know a ladder doubles as a workbench? The more you know people, the more you freaking know. <laughs> I got a spectator watching. I got a bird. Oh, Jesus. Freaking hornet. Freaking hornet. He's going to attack me. I want to keep that as tight as possible. So, right there. Now, how am I going to get my hammer in there? I call that the side hammer technique. I don't know if it's a valid technique, but I'm using it because, well, piss. Why not? All right. So now we're gonna come across this way here. Try and keep it as high as possible so that the door does not catch it. Maybe I'll put another one right there. And we'll use the side attack technique. Uh, come here. <sighs> Only I would look up, have my mouth open and eat about 10 buckets worth of friggin' insulation. All right, so now we don't need that much line exposed. I totally could have done this with a 10 foot line probably, totally. So my big question is, when I go to close the bay door, is that gonna hit anything? And the answer is no, we're good. Grab another one of these stupid things. Put this stupid thing up here and nail it in. Oh yeah. That'll hold it up. Up and out of the way. All right. We have about six feet left of wire. Did I throw out those twist ties? No, I still have them. Okay, I'm gonna grab this twist tie and just kind of bundle this together. I could probably go up the ladder and nail one of these in to the wire, but I don't even know if that would stick to that siding. It's plastic. I don't think it will. I'm gonna just leave it like that. Theoretically, I could just leave it like this. <laughs> That'll probably be fine or not. Okay, cool. All right, well, I think what I'm gonna do with this extra wire. So I'm just gonna nail it to the wall so that it's out of the way. I know, not a professional install, guys. I never claim to be a professional. I make content for entertainment, not for learning needs. Figure it out. You know what? Screw nailing to the wall, I'm just hanging off the hook. Problem solved. All right, so camera is mounted. Door doesn't impede. Now I can see my driveway. I got another camera right there that you see. That one shows the front area here. So that's pretty sweet. So now I can watch over the assets from the comfort of my own phone. Now, like I said, there's nothing stopping somebody from coming along and just ripping the camera out down because it's only held on with a magnet, pretty strong magnet, but a magnet nonetheless. We could gorilla tape that wire to the wall, but then it would look like shit. That already looks like shit. We'll see how it does. I want to see if that magnet holds up because they claim that magnet will hold up. Now, one thing I do like about these wise cameras is there's a lot of cool accessories you can get for them. Like if you live in a sunny place, you can actually buy a solar powered battery, kind of like those solar lights, which is higher amperage. And you literally just plug it into that and it'll power your camera as long as it's getting enough solar light. Remember you used to be able to jump up and grab that and pull it down, but now I can't. All right, like I said, we'll leave it like this. And we'll see how we do. See if any big winds come along and knock it down or what. Of course, it's picking up a bunch of motion because I'm out here walking around. However, I don't know if you guys can see the phone. Like, it's got a pretty good view. Like, if I'm back here at the Trans Am and I'm looking at it, you can pinch zoom and you can pretty get a pretty good depiction. So... I'm not sure what the resolution right now is set to, but you can always go into the settings and change it. Camera still holding. Don't see why it wouldn't be. But we're supposed to get one frig of a storm on Saturday. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that plays. Oh, do I have the marks on my forehead? Let me get some light. Oh yeah. See the, the back of this thing has like this like rubberized W pattern on it. I guess you're supposed to put it on your ball cap or something, but I wore my ball cap to martial arts on Tuesday and I forgot I wore my ball cap to martial arts on Tuesday and well, kind of left my ball cap at martial arts on Tuesday. So that's a thing. I could go fishing again. No, no, no. It is nice out though. It would be a good night to go fishing, that's for sure. But I'm also super tired. It's finally starting to cool off out there. So that means it's finally starting to be possible to sleep at night. I haven't slept at night now for like the past two nights because it's been like friggin' 11 o'clock at night. 
and it's still plus 27 degrees outside but yeah that's going to be pretty much it for today guys so we got a little security system set up should be good i was thinking for the other camera the last camera i was going to mount it in the kitchen it's like when i'm at work i can keep an eye on the dog and what's nice is you can do audio pass through i mentioned that before where you can communicate back and forth so like if i want to see if potato's okay i can just call his name over the camera he'll wake up be all confused not know where i am probably stand right here and stare upstairs or something who knows he does weird shit anywho so i'm gonna shut her down here so you guys have yourself a good day i'm gonna go do the same and until next time guys peace the frig out Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.